As we start putting everything back together after the deep clean, there's a few items in the greenhouse that we have to replace just because of age. One of them is the convection tubes that are on the jet fans. Those convection tubes run on each bay of the greenhouse and run down the length of the greenhouse and they supply the heat from the heaters up front and push it all the way down to the end of the greenhouse. So those have never been replaced. Those two tubes need to be replaced probably every five years or so. So here's how we install the jet fan tubes. Uh, the easiest way for us to do this, and this is a one-man job, is to basically get a pole and stick it through the roll so that it basically unrolls as you pull it. And then it's just a matter of getting a ladder and feeding it through the diagonals of the greenhouse. So here, I'm just gonna loosen up this band We'll take this old plastic off. I've got some duct tape here that protects the plastic from the band. So we may or may not have to put that on. We'll have to take this band off first to see. Well, we didn't finish filming the rest of the install of the convection tube for the greenhouse because after we got it all done, brought it back up to this part, hung it with all the hangers off the cable, we went to put it up against the jet tube housing and realized that the convection tube is 30 inches. The fan is actually 25. So when we hooked it up, there was a lot of air turbulence within the convection fan. It just wouldn't work. It would be way too loud and it would probably just shred after a while anyway. So we called Crop King this morning they had two convection fans in stock that were the right size, 24 by 130. I gotta tell you, Crop King is just a great company to work with. Uh, we bought these convection tubes back in February of 2020, knowing or knowing then that we had to replace them. When we told them what happened, they said, no problem, just bring them back in and we'll get a credit for them. So this morning, Katie ran out to Crop King and picked up the two new 24 by 130 convection tubes. We took the one back that we had in the box. Today, I'll go ahead and get those two new ones installed and I'll take this one down and I'm gonna roll it up really nice. But again, I just wanna say how great Crop King is. They've done a great job. They've always been there for us. We just really appreciate their uh, great customer service keeping products in stock, and always had everything ready when we needed it. So the best way to install this convection tube is to pull it from the bottom of the roll. Put a pole across your, uh, your supports, and so when you pull this, it'll, it'll wind backwards. It'll, you won't have to worry about it coming off. And so what I do is uh, I just pull it to the next V. And we just go down the length of the greenhouse. So now it's just as simple as loosening up this band, taking it off. We'll take the convection tube, slide it over the housing, and then we'll just tighten this band back up and we'll be ready to go, other than putting the clips in to hold it up onto the support cable.
So these clips are pretty cool. You slide this on, on the inside of the convection tube. And then on the outside, this goes on. And then the metal clip goes through and hangs from the cable that we put across the top of the greenhouse. And this will hold the convection tube up in place. So let me show you how you do that. So I'll just take this piece and I put it through one of the holes in the convection tube, go up to the top where the crease is, and I made sure that the crease was at the top of the housing also, so that it aligns right. Slide it over, put the clip on it, and then we just hang it from the cable right here. And that's it. The manufacturer calls for this to be put every five feet to support the convection tube. So again, you just go up to the top. Slide on the connector. Take the thing and put it on the cable. Now what I do every few, maybe 10, 20 feet, is I will actually tie a string to the top purlin to help support this cable. I don't like to tie the cable really tight because I think it puts undue stress on the greenhouse. So I just tie a string around the top, pull it up into place where I want it, and that way it'll kind of help support it. These clips don't slide back and forth, so it works. So even though we had a hiccup with the first convection tube that we went to install, uh, we did pick up those other two tubes and those are now installed and we can see a huge difference in the greenhouse. We're getting even heat disbursement throughout the greenhouse, really good airflow now. And so I think this is gonna make a big difference having these new tubes. Plus they're, plus they're clean and we don't have to worry about any bugs or pests or anything else inside the tubes. So I hope you liked the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and remember to leave those comments. We really do like reading them and we do like responding to them and we've learned a lot of stuff from a bunch of different people. So um, in the future, we're gonna try to do a couple more of these types of videos, more things that we're doing to improve the greenhouse and some other things that we do around the farm that uh, nobody really knows about. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video.